What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video after 1400 hours of playing Battlefield 2042. These are the attachments that I personally recommend using. We're going through every single gun in Battlefield 2042, quickly showing the attachments in case you're curious and you're not sure what to use on your weapon. This is what I personally use and what works the best for me. You might want to switch around some attachments according to what you like, uh, but this is what I like. I have timestamps in the description and in the video right now, uh, so you can see if you want to skip to a certain uh, class, to a certain weapon, uh, you can do that with the timestamps. We're going quickly through it, it's not really a guide, just showing the attachments that I use. We're starting off with the SMGs, the PBX, I use the Fusion Hollow, Close Combat, the MGL laser sight and the Arkham Tactical um, muzzle brake. Um, I have the thermal as well and I use a uh, 6KU suppressor as backup, which I don't really use that much on the uh, PBX, but I always recommend using that silencer as backup. On to the next SMG, the PP29. Uh, not really a lot of attachments, always use the Fusion Hollow and the thermal 1.25 actually works really well. This is a must, you need to use the standard issue rounds, definitely the best one uh, for the PP29. Uh, it reduces or it decreases the rate of fire, um, makes the recoil easier to control and reload speed. Less effective range, but it's definitely worth it for the way you want to play with this gun. Don't use the factory barrel. Uh, I definitely recommend using the wrap suppressor as backup. Use this quite a lot actually. It only reduces the bullet speed a little bit, but as an SMG you don't really need that. Uh, so these are the attachments that are used for the PP29. For the MP9, again, Fusion Hollow, don't really use anything else. Uh, I have the Close Combat Extended, uh, just for the reason you have extra bullets with the Extended, you can reload three times, and with the Drum Mag, you can only reload twice. I have this as backup rounds though, but I mainly use the 40 round mag, which I actually just like a little bit better uh, for reloading more often, and you don't run through the 50 rounds uh, often anyways. I have the Laser Sight or the MGL Laser Sight if you want to have uh, better uh, recoil control. Um, and then I don't use the barrel and I of course have the wrap suppressor. The K30, again fusion hollow, I really like the K8 hollow as well on the K30. And I have the drum mag, the extended mag and the high power extended. Definitely need all three mags uh, on this gun in case you're gonna run out of ammo, which happens really quick with this run. I have the laser side, don't use the factory barrel, you can switch around with the barrels if you uh, need better recoil control. I do not recommend the Warhawk Compensator because it reduces the weapon accuracy and the spread actually gets a lot worse, so do not use that. And I have both suppressors as backup um, in case I want to be a little bit more stealthy. The new Season 4 AC9, I have the Cobra Sights, this is a gun that allows the Cobra Sights, it's a really nice co Cobra Sights in this game. I have the Close Combat Extended, definitely a must, and I have the Backer Rounds, definitely a must as well, you're burning through ammo with this gun as well. The SDNR Laser Sight and the Tactical Compensator. And for the Porter Weapons, the attachments are never really super interesting, I actually do use the Cobra Sight for this weapon, uh, the Flash Suppressor and the uh, Laser Sight that is. For the AKS-74U, I have the Cobra Sight as well. I use the Heavy Barrel, it increases the recoil though, in case you don't like that, don't use this. And I have the Laser Sight as backup. Also, you can use the Foregrip if you struggle with that recoil. The higher zooms, uh, not this one, but the 3.4 times actually works very well on this gun as well, because the recoil is a little bit lower and you can use this gun for longer range. And last, SMG. The um, the PP2000, again, I use the Cobra Sights. This one is quite nice as well, but it has a little bit, quite a lot of glow. You need to use the Extended Mag, of course. There's not really an option for this, and there's not really an option for this, but of course, you have to silence it as back. For these old rifles, the M5A3, I use the Fusion Hollow. The, the thermal sights are quite good, do not recommend the 2.5, but uh, the 1.25 is quite good. Then the Close Combat Rounds increases the rate of fire, I have the Extended as backup in case I run out of ammo. The SDNR Laser Sight and the Short Barrel, uh, these both attachments decrease the recoil or the uh, rate of fire quite a lot, definitely recommend using them. Um, if you want a little bit of a slower gun, uh, don't use these, uh, but it makes the gun killing a lot faster. The AM40 right now, it's the Fusion Hollow, the Drum Mag, the MGL Laser and the Tactical Compensator. With the Tactical Compensator you get extra recoil, but the weapon accuracy gets uh, less or um, improved, so you get less spread. Uh, which means you can beam players from longer range in case you can't control that recoil. The AK24, 
Fusion Hollow, the standard drum mag, and then uh, use the extended mag quite a lot as well. You kind of have to see which one you like more. The LWG grip, if you use McKay, otherwise go with the Cobra grip, and I have the lace side as backup, and the Arkham tactical muzzle brake, and I sometimes actually use the extended mag, and of course I have the silencer as backup, or the extended barrel, I mean. The SFAR, use the Fusion Hollow, the thermals, both are quite nice. Here's the drum mag. The uh, 40mmHE uh, grenade launcher and the Arkham Tactical Muzzle Brake. The AC42, I use the Thermal actually mainly, the Extended Mag, uh, LWG Grip if you use McKay, otherwise again go with the Cobra Grip um, or uh, just use the laser. The laser side is quite good as well, uh, but I really like the LWG Grip, improves accuracy while moving, especially when you use McKay. Tacticom Slater increases the recoil but makes the weapon accuracy uh, better so you can beam players from longer range. Then the Season 4 weapon, the RM68. I use the Thermal mainly, after two times the higher zooms are quite nice. Uh, standard Extended, this is a must, and I actually use the, ra the standard uh, CCN suppressor. You can also use the uh, short barrel, makes the rate of fire a little bit higher, and the SCNR laser. Then for the portal weapons, quickly going through them, Reflex, Heavy Barrel, and Laser. For the M16A3 that is. For the ACW, again same thing, Cobra, Heavy Barrel, a Laser. Then for the A91, I use I actually use the grip instead of the laser because the recoil can be a little bit weird on this one, um, and I didn't really hip fire that much. Uh, the Cobra and the Flash Suppressor I didn't really like the heavy barrel, also increased the recoil, so I went with a little bit of a less uh, recoily um, setup here. And the M416, uh, I really like the holographic side. Uh, the reflex is very good as well. I use the heavy barrel and the laser. Then for the last one, the MTAR, uh, you have different type of, uh, oh, you don't have different type of max. Don't know why this is an option. Uh, the laser side and the heavy barrel and the reflex, uh, they fixed the heavy barrel recently, so it's actually worth using now. To the, L to the LMGs, we have the LCMG, which I mainly use with the thermal sides. The closed combat extended, definitely must. Short barrel, also I think a must. Uh, for silencer as backup, don't really use that too much, uh, and I have the Cobra grip. Um, I don't really, uh, I use this gun a little bit more static than uh, when I use McKay, so Cobra Grip uh, I'm using for this one. Of course, go with the LWG Grip um, if you want to strafe a little bit more. The Advances, I use the Thermal mainly on this gun, and I really like the Iron Sights. Definitely recommend giving the Iron Sights at least a go. And I have the standard uh, extended as main rounds. I have backup rounds in case I run out of ammo, which rarely happens. The BCG light grip, uh, which increases the aim down size accuracy, but reduces hip fire. Um, and the tactical compensator. Don't use this uh, grip if you uh, don't use the higher zooms. Um, but I really like the thermal with this, um, with this grip. Makes it a lot more accurate for range. Then the PKP. Uh, I use the Fusion Hollow, you can also use the uh, K8 Hollow. I have the Thermals, don't really use them that much on this gun. Uh, standard issue, the, there's no grip on this because you have a um, default bipod. Then the Arkham Tactical Muzzle Brake. Then for the uh, Season 4 LMG, I use the Thermals mainly on this gun. Um, I will switch around with the 2.5 and the 1.25. Then these are a must for sure. The standard issue rounds, you unlock this after 300 kills. The SDNR laser sight and the short barrel. I think these are definitely the best attachments you can use. Unfortunately, you can not use a silencer for this gun. And for the M60, we're going into to the portal weapon. So we're going through this a little bit quickly. Oh, I lost it. Here we go. The M60, it's the Cobra sight, the extended grip and the fly suppressor. The XM8 has the... I use the iron sights on this. You can also use the Cobra, but I really enjoyed the iron sights. And then there's not really a choice for these. These are actually the default attachments you get right from the bat. Then the M240B. I use the iron sights here as well mainly. If you don't like it, go with the Cobra grip. Uh, extended mag. Laser sight. actually really like that a lot on this gun. Hipfire is pretty good. And the fly suppressor. 
The Type 88, one of my least favorite weapons in the entire game. The Reflex, the Extended Mag, the Laser Side. You can also go with the Grip. Uh, this gun's Rico is a little bit weird, so a Grip can be very useful. And the Flash Suppressor. And for the DMRs, I have the DM7. I have the Fusion Hollow, actually. You can use higher zooms on this. Works very well. I personally really like the Fusion Hollow. Uh, but higher zooms are definitely uh, working well. I use the standard rounds. I have the close combat rounds as well. And the high power. I definitely recommend using multiple types of ammo on this gun. The LWG grip in case you like strafing a lot. And Arkham Tactical Muscle Break. The SVK is the... I use the higher zoom. I don't use this one. I use the six times most of the time. And the Fusion Hollow. I switch around between these ones depending on where the enemies are. Uh, the standard issue round, the LWG grip, and the extended barrel. Uh, this makes it a lot easier to uh, kill players that are moving from range. Uh, lowers the rate of fire, but you don't need a high rate of fire on a slow rate of fire DMR anyways. Because you have to wait for your aim to get back to the point where you were. And the V-car. I used the Fusion Hollow, Close Combat Drum Mac, the BCG light grip, and the extended. Makes the gun a little bit more usable for range. The, the BSV is the Cade Hollow, the High Power Extended, the Cobra Grip, and the Short Barrel. The M39E EMR, um, I, this needs to be changed now, so you don't want the silence anymore as the main. It was a bug. Um, I used it 3.4 times mainly uh, the Laser Sight, Default Mac, and the Factory Barrel. The SVD, I used it 3.4 times, uh, the laser, and uh, nothing on my barrel. And then for the snipers, we have the SWS-10. Definitely the 6x scope for me works the best. I use a close combat to increase the rate of fire. Uh, la laser sight, and I uh, use the wrap suppressor. Suppressor doesn't really affect the gun that much anymore. You can also go with the short barrel or the long barrel, depending on what you want to go for in terms of uh, the, the targets you're trying to hit. The DXR, a little bit more of a longer range uh, sniper. Use the 8 time scope for this one extended. The factory mounts, you don't get an option for this, and the factory barrel. An NTW. You want the, I, I like to use the, K, the 8R Hollow for close range uh, engagements, which is obviously what you want to go for with the NTW. You don't want to go for the long, long range uh, gunfights. The Thermal 6x works really well as well. Then you have the Anti-Material and the Anti-Material High Power. This is if you want to shoot down vehicles and these, you don't really have an option. Then for the Gold Magnum, not really an option. You can pretty much mainly switch around with uh, the uh, sides. Um, and that's pretty much it. I use the default scope mainly on this gun. For the tactical weapons, we have the shotgun, uh, which I use the fusion hollow on, the buckshot, and the laser sight. Definitely think the buckshot is the most consistent one. And for the GVT 4570, we have the uh, six time scope, the high power, the laser, and the factory barrel. We have the 12M Auto here with uh, the K8 Hollow. Don't really need to use the sights for this. Uh, the Drum Mac, the MGL Laser, definitely, of course, need a laser one. And the Short Barrel, this reduces the projectile velocity, but doesn't really matter on the shotgun. So definitely recommend these attachments. And for the Crossbow, there's not really a lot of options. You can go with the DA Harlow if you want to have a little bit more zoom. Go with the Ghost Hybrid. And use the default rounds. I have the explosive rounds as backup if you want to go for long range targets. And then the lay side if you want to get lucky kills up close. And then for the last two weapons we have the Rorsch. Which I use the 6 sound scope because I mainly use this gun for sniping. Uh, and I use the Smart 1.5 if you want to go for close range targets. And these you can all swap around with. But I mainly use it for uh, sniping. And the last gun here we have the... A shotgun, the iron sights, I use the buckshot as well, and the lay sight, no barrel. Thank you guys for watching. If you thought this video was useful, consider dropping the like button. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel. Hope to see you guys in the next video.